I'm old. I'm puzzled. And I'm only able to change one of those. The area of Canada that I live in is called the Bruce Peninsula. It's a peninsula of land that juts out into Lake Huron and separates Lake Huron with Georgian Bay. One of the nice things about living here is the fact that you get both amazing sunrises and sunsets over the water. My cousin lives on the eastern side of the peninsula and has spectacular sunrises, like this one. And I live on the western side and have amazing sunsets over Lake Huron. As long as it's not completely clouded over, there's always great sunsets, whether it's partially cloudy or a completely clear sky. Just a few days ago, there was an astonishing sunset, but unfortunately I didn't get a photograph of it. I was actually working on a jigsaw puzzle at the time, and I looked up and I could see outside this unworldly pink and orange hue to everything. I looked out in my backyard and the entire sky had an unworldly glow to it. Luckily, a local friend of mine took a picture of it and posted it out on Facebook. One of the summer activities in along the Sunset Coast is at Southampton, Ontario, where a bagpipe player pipes down the sun every Friday evening during the summer months. Michael Smith started doing this at age 13 as a summer job and has done it every year for the past 20 years, except of course for 2020 due to the pandemic. My sister and his mother have been friends for years, so I've known Michael most of his life. Back in 2015, when I was living in Indiana, I took a photography course at a local university, and one of my classes was portraiture. I had an assignment to take a portrait of someone, and I chose Michael. In 2019, I decided I needed to get my Scottish on one more time during the summer, and so I went to his last concert of the year on the Friday of the Labor Day weekend. And when the concert ended after he had piped down the sun, he proposed to his girlfriend in front of the entire group. Luckily, she said yes. They're now happily married with two kids. Let's enjoy the setting sun, the bagpipes, and the 1,000-piece Eurographic puzzle of Aileen Dune Castle in Scotland.
It was an enjoyable puzzle, but honestly, I didn't think the sky part would take 10 hours and the rest of the puzzle would only take three and a half. Just before the sun dips below the horizon, Michael plays his last two songs. And they are Amazing Grace and Old Lang Syne. <laughs> So next summer, if you're in Southampton, Ontario, on a Friday evening under the big flag, you may just see me there tapping my toes along to Michael's piping. So thanks for watching the video. Also in the comments is a link to my Buy Me A Coffee page if you'd like to support this channel. And subscribe to this channel to see what other nonsense I can get up to. Because you know, I'm old, I'm bored, and I'm only able to change one of those.